What's up guys, Court Order here. If you didn't see last week's video, me, Doug, and Rich were metal detecting this house that goes all the way back to 1820. And even though we found some really cool stuff, like Doug's World War II era Girl Scout button, Rich had some cool Tomback buttons, he had the little dimples button, but it was me that actually had the best day out of the three of us, which is very rare. Two Indian pennies for me. One was uh, 1899, the other one was uh, 1907. The 1899 one was actually part of a spill with a buffalo nickel and a wheat penny. But then I was on fire when I went out to the field that the little girl back in the 1930s played in where I got not one mercury dime, but two mercury dimes. One of them was just in incredible condition. And then I nabbed a 1941 silver Washington quarter and only my second ever walking Liberty silver half dollar, I think it was 1943 or 44, in immaculate condition. Well, after a start like that, you know, we had to go back. There was still so much property to detect. So that's what we do this week. We go back to the same 1820s house, me, Doug, and Rich. And of course, we bring along Musket Ball Matt and our friend Lynn, too, to absolutely kill it all around this 200-year-old house. So I hope you guys enjoy this week's video, the return to the 1820s silver sleigh ground, and I will see you at the end. Later. All right, so we're picking up where we left off. This is the side yard, which was the original front yard. That was the front door, where now the front door is around the side. But 200 years ago, that was the front door. So we're out in the front, and Matt's got the first thing of the day, and I heard him say a piece of sterling silver, whatever that even means. Yeah. Pensbury High School, 1914. Oh. I think so. Maybe. Or 2014. Oh no, that doesn't. The style of that doesn't look like 2000. P. Well, you're right. Oh, but... P H S. So would this been like off of a uniform or a... maybe a signet off a Who ring? Knows? A bowl of tie. A ring or a... maybe we went into the shade recipe. No, no, you stay there. That was perfect. Oh, oh I have it upside down. Yeah, it's on the back. Uh, it says Sterling on the back, and there's some writing above it that's super tiny, Lynn. Oh boy. I'll blow it up in a second and take a look. <laughs> I can't make it out. Well, and then PHS, which Rich seems to think is the local high school. Pinsbury High School. Oh, and then 14. What, does, what do you think the 14 means? I, yeah, but I don't think Pinsbury High School was around in 1914. Dad would know. Oh, you think that's a date, the 14? If it, if it does have to do with a high school, then yes, I think it's a date. Because it would be the graduating class, most likely. Or off a bracelet? Well, it feels we'll like it's just maybe like a pin, there, I then. feel. Yeah, maybe you should brush it. I think it might have been a little pin. You see the two dirty spots in the back? I think that's where an iron pin was, like, soldered to it. And that's why that part's rusted. Well, hey, that's a cool find, hey, Rich. Uh, Matt, I'm sorry. Bad, <laughs> Don't really know what it is, but uh, yeah, no, no, no. we'll have to see if we can figure it out later. All right, yeah. thanks. Good first hole. <laughs> All right, so working by this big tree. I think it might be some sort of a buttonwood tree. It's really big and wide and nubby, if nubby's the word. So at the base of the tree, I had a good signal. 27, 28, that's about what it was before I dug the hole. It's in the side here. And I believe it's gonna be a thimble, a smushed thimble. I'm gonna move right over here to the shade. Yeah, it's just a smushed thimble, but it's a good sign of life from uh, probably World War II or before. He's after the sun. That's a nice find. It's an artifact, at least, Lynn. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, a thimble. Oh, yeah, a little thimble. Nothing special or precious or anything. Okay. But that just means there was people around. Maybe the lady of the house or... Maybe the maybe the son, if he was, you know, into <laughs> sewing things. I, what do I know, Lynn? I like to sew once in a while. That's right. I made a pillow in uh, high school, like 11th grade. I still have the pillow. Oh, oh, we need to see that. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice. <laughs> I didn't even use a thimble. So just goes to show you these aren't absolutely necessary. Made in England by Lesney. It's a Matchbox King size, number K17. Dyson low loader. <laughs> we love the old kids' toys, and the Lesneys are nice. They were made in England, upside down. Now, I think uh, Matchbox bought Lesney, didn't they, Rich, if I have that right? I think so. It says Matchbox. Yeah, I think Lesney was the originator. Matchbox bought it and then brought them over here. But this one was made in England by Lesney. And what you call it? Oh, I see it right there. A, a Dyson low loader. 
This thing is massive. It's like an old trailer. Yeah. And uh, what do you think? Maybe the 60s or so? 60s or 70s, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to go with that too. That's a pretty cool find. I would love to see the truck that would pull. This would have been one of the bigger Lesneys I've ever seen. Yeah, I checked the hole. There's nothing else. Yeah, you would have heard that from so. a mile away. <laughs> That's a cool find though. Yeah. Old kids toys. That gives us hope that there was a lot of activity around. Because yep. if anyone drops things, Rich, it's kids. <laughs> nice find. Thank you. All right, Doug's been on fire with the spoons today. Which I got is... something to eat lunch with. Yeah, anyway. you sure do. Is this one also? This is, look how decorative that thing Ooh, is. Ooh, that's a the nice scallop. scallop. Yeah. Now, this one's copper, too. Yes. That's beautiful, Doug. That's got to be 1800s. Yes. Wow, that is sharp. And look how thin it is, too. The handle, very thin and dainty. Like me. You are. It is like you. <laughs> well, that's gorgeous Neither design. Thin Look at nor that. Dainty. Oh, that's going to clean up great. Is it green? Uh, yeah, it's kind of. It feels got that. like it's brass or something. Yeah, it looks like copper. Well, co uh, copper is kind of brass, isn't it? Like almost like. Well, yeah, they're. Yeah, in this they're in the same close. family. They're like cousins. Yeah, first cousins. Wow, I would love to see if there's any decoration on the handle, too. That's an yeah, awesome spoon. I want to clean spoon. that up. I, I have a feeling there may be. Scream in high tone? Uh, no, it was uh, mid-tone, 33, oh, that! Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. I would have thought much higher. Yeah, Look, let's brush it down, Doug. That's maybe really it's pretty. it's not all copper. I don't know. what. I'm not even sure the material. I'm just kind of taking yeah. a guess, but it sure is good looking. All right, there's Doug's spoon, and he gave it a brush down in the field. It's a beautiful scallop bowl that we're thinking is probably Victorian, maybe 1880s, 1890s era. Just gorgeous. Something that Doug would just love to put in his mouth. <laughs> and there was a small area. It looks like a small chain design underneath, like chain links or something. Yeah, yeah. It's very interesting. Well, hey, good find, Doug. I mean, I do love the daintiness of it. Yes. It's a beautiful old spoon, 100 plus years old. Really cool find. <laughs> love it. All right, we're starting off in this front yard, right where we kind of left off last time we were here. And Matt said he's got something good, and he said it's a silver coin and one he's never found before. So now my head's thinking, like, what has Matt not found? Is it a good one or like a war nickel? No, it's a good one. It's a good one? All right, let's take a look. <laughs> it's not crazy, but... Oh, it's not a crazy good one. Let's see. Oh, it looks like a dime. Is it a seated dime or a barber dime? I can't see it. Is that a barber dime? I think it's a barber dime. You don't have a barber dime? No. Really? Oh, yeah. He keeps finding barber half dollars, but nothing. Yeah, he did <laughs> find the barber. He moved it to the sun, Matt. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's 1883 or 93. Well, wow, your first one ever. Yeah, still still looking for the quarter, but... Now, some of these barbers, there's a mint mark on it, too. Oh, really? Some of these barbers are very rare when they have the mint marks on it, Matt. I can't tell if it's an O or a D, and I'm not even sure of the date. Let's give it a good cleanup, and we're going to Google the mintage just to see. Some of them are surprisingly rare, nice. so maybe we'll get a, a good one. Nice. Let's take a look. That date. All right, there's Matt's Barber Dime, his first one ever, Lynn. It's awesome, man. 1899, which he said was coincidentally the same year as his Barber Half Dollar that he got just a few weeks ago. He seems to just be uh, attached to this date for whatever reason. <laughs> and this one, when he sprayed it, has a mint mark that he said was an O down at the bottom. I do, I do see it. We looked it up, and the O is a scarcer date, like 2.5 million, I think it said as opposed to 20 million with no mint mark. I'm glad he's got something good. And the, the front yard is the area that we hit the hardest, I guess you'd say. But I think we're all gonna come back because at least we're getting signals around here. So, hey, heck of a good find there, Matt. Congratulations. Now we're all gonna join you and uh, see if we can salvage <laughs> yeah, the day. Man. Well all done. Right. Thanks, man. All right, Rich is back over here. This front part of the yard, we're finding more signals. They're deep. We're going slow. It seems to be the oldest, most concentrated part of the whole complex. Yeah. And Rich just said he's got another flat button. And you are down there too, Rich. Yep, that was Oh, that's down a there. thick one. Do you, uh, do you still have my toothbrush? Um, yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's very thick. Yeah. Oh, 
I don't see anything, but I, I do on the back. That's for sure. Now that looks nice. See if there's anything on the back that would. I see writing on the back? Uh, plenty of writing. Oh, wow. And, yeah. And the design. We might have to get this into the light. There might be something in the front as thick as it is. It just well, it looks like a nickel it's so thick. Yeah. Here you go. Let's uh, well let's brush it down and we'll bring it out to the out to the front. All right, there's Rich's flat button, and it's a pretty nice one. You can see going around the far outside those sun rays going all around it. And just above the shank in that inner ring, it said, what, warranted, you said? I think it does. And there's another word that I can't quite make out. Well, so if you need help with words, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's a lot of writing on it. Full shank. And it's hard to see, but it is so thick, Rich. It almost looks like a nickel like, yeah. from the front. And the front of the button, we don't see anything on there. I was trying to, sometimes if you shine the light right on it, you could like right there you can see the shininess yeah. to figure out what the base metal is but i don't see anything design wise so it might just be a plain copper flat button but early man probably close to 200 years old so yep heck of a fine well cool done button. thank you well there's horses here like we said we've had some really good success doing horse farms this year and a little bit ago a farrier pulled up with shoeing one of the horses and that farrier said that he lives about an hour from here in a 1700s log cabin. And he said, we can come detect his house. So really nice guy. We exchange information. We'll give him a call. That one kind of fell right in our lap. He was a super nice guy. You never know what's going to open up. But some beautiful horses. Let me get back to detecting, try to find some more cool things. It's in the hole still. I thought it was going to be maybe a shotgun shell or something. If my machine even picks it up, it was hitting like kind of scratchy like that with a faint high tone. And when I rotated, I couldn't hear it, but I figured what the heck, you know, we're in the old part of the yard. It was way down and it's very rocky. So you got to dig up all these rocks. And I finally flipped the piece up and I saw a round coin and, and I think it's a half cent. Hold on. Where is it? I turned my pinpointer off. It's over here. I'm sure it's going to be a half cent. There it is. There's no way that can be a quarter. Shield? Wait. Oh, it might be a shield. Is it a two center? Son of a gun! A two center! Oh, the dog came out. <laughs> Let me see. Well, I think it's going to be a two center. That is cool. Let's brush it down and see if we can get a date off this sucker. Hang on. All right, so there it is, the two cent piece. I've only ever found one ever in my history of digging. This is super exciting. You know, during the Civil War when they made this coin, everybody was hoarding their coins. They weren't sure what was gonna happen. There was a coin shortage in the country. They agreed on this new denomination, the two cent piece, and they only made it eight years, from 1864 to 1872. And coincidentally, it's the first coin that ever had In God We Trust etched in it. Every single coin in your pocket today is going to have that. This was the very first coin. And being that this coin is from 1864, it's actually not only the first coin, but the first year. This is the first coin, this one right here, to ever have In God We Trust on it. How cool is that? On the back side, if I flip it over, it has a large number two, two cents right in the middle, surrounded by a wheat wreath, United States of America up at the top. So a uh, pretty cool design, no mistaking it for a quarter because it actually is almost the size of a quarter, just a smidgen smaller than a quarter. And of course the beautiful front side with the date, the design in the middle is supposed to be the shield of America, like the escutcheon showing power and strength. Uh, one of the first coins did not have a bust on it. I think the flying eagle may have beaten it out. And yet another cool thing about this date, the 1864 actually has a variation. The In God We Trust has a small motto and a large motto. It's hard to tell enough to clean it up which version it is, but how unique is that? It just adds more and more intrigue. So just a really unique coin in a unique period of the country and the size, the denomination. I just love weird little oddities like this. What an amazing find. I absolutely love it. All right, we're working into this new field behind this gate. Doug's already in there. The rest of us haven't made the entryway yet. But on the outskirts, Rich said he's got something new, but something cool. So I'm hoping it's gonna be like a volleyball. Oh, 
Oh, it's really glitzy. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice brooch. It looks There's like a little bit of weight to it. I don't know yet if it's if it's costume or just loaded with diamonds. <laughs> well, I'm just hoping it's silver. You can I don't know. A white elephant. <laughs> That's a nice piece, at least. It's. Uh... I don't think it is. Well, let me move it to the sun here. Yeah, oh, that, where is the sun? I, don't know. I can't find it. it. Look at that, Lynn. That's crazy. I wonder if those those stones are glass or plastic. Yeah. I don't think they're precious. I don't know if they're <laughs> precious, but I wonder if they're at least glass. Yeah. But it's they're really glistening. I mean, the sun changing color catches them. Yeah. All right, Rich is going to give it a brush down. What the heck? We'll take a look at it. Yeah, it's a cool find. On a um belt like a some fancy belt yeah hooked on there like liberace's belt well probably a woman's <laughs> belt oh okay oh. <laughs> yeah we cleaned it up um we're not sure the material we're guessing aluminum only because the back looks like it has a peg there that you would it would receive a screw and it'd be weird that silver would have that but the stones i mean <laughs> as someone who's colorblind they're really sparkly and catching my eye as like the sun bounces off of them so uh, that's pretty cool. They almost look like Christmas lights, the way yeah. they're like flickering. So uh, very, very cool, Rich. We can make yeah, that to your hat. This is my Thanks, favorite bro. piece of jewelry all day. <laughs> <laughs> nice find, brother. Thanks. Yeah. I think that looked nice right on your hat. <laughs> Matt, who was going back to his truck to get lunch, but hit a signal and he yelled out, spill. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. There's a spill. Yeah, there's a silver quarter. Maybe that's your barber. Is that another silver under it, or is that the impression? I think that's a coin. coin. It looks like a coin. Is there it's three coins there? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Let me move your machine, Matt, so we don't hit it. All right, let's see what he's got. He needs a barber. Oh, it's a Washington. All right, that's not bad. Let's see. <laughs> Did you check down the hole for me? It looks like 50. You don't care if I rub the Washington, no, do you? No. 52. <laughs> there's a second one. Is that a nickel? That looks, yeah. that looks like a modern Jefferson nickel. I bet it's probably an older one now. It's an old one. Two Jeffersons. What? Two Jeffersons and a silver Washington. I bet these are probably going to be like at least from the. Is that a clad one? Yeah, these are yeah. both clad ones. No, they they could be from the 30s even. With a silver. One silver. Two. Was there anything else in the hole? Uh, I don't think so. Probably all lost, like maybe in the 50s. Mm. Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> he was going to walk away, Rich. He was all ready to walk away. He wants to eat lunch so bad. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care about that. Yeah. Let's see what he gets here. But he has no lunch. Yeah, he's yeah, about no to bring lunch. his lunch, which is very but rare from that. 46. 46? I think the 38 nickel is like one of the... Oh, he's on it. Let's see. I think it's a four-coin spill. Oh, maybe a five-coin spill. I, I saw an edge. Yes. Another, Another nickel. Another nickel. <laughs> Wow, that's Somebody weird. Bag. See if you can get a year off that nickel, Rich. And if you can, that crusty one, too. Since he's digging. 46. 46 off that one. Isn't that what the other one is? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a dime. Oh, oh, look at that. I told him to recheck it. He wasn't even going to do oh, it. Oh, it's a Roosevelt. <laughs> it's really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. This must be where they stood for the Mr. Softy truck. <laughs> yeah. This one is 56. No, no date on the crusty. Oh, we check it again, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Wow, well, what a nice spill, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spill. Three yeah. nickels, uh, two from the 40s, the other one probably the same. A 56 silver rosy, and then it looks like a 52 silver Washington. Way to go, yeah. brother. Yeah, that's, hey, that's awesome. not bad. Yeah. Now you can sell them and go buy lunch. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, there's Matt's spill, and uh, I forgot to charge my power on, so we have to use Matt's. No, it's still on. It's still just on. it's just not Is very it? bright. Yeah, you're used to the 3,200 lumens <laughs> of my power I on. I thought I saw it. Change, I forgot to but, charge it. He's got three nickels. Two of them were from 1946. Rich said, "This one, which is all crusty and corroded, and the reason why, Matt, you want to lift it up? That's the one that was stuck to the quarter." And you can see the back of that nickel is like bumpy and stuff. And so is the back of the quarter. You can still see the ring where it's sat on for probably decades. And uh, that's gonna have to be worked later. It's not coming off with water. Looks like Washington has like a Hitler mustache too, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he also got yeah. the 56 Rosie. So what a nice little spill there. Yeah. I mean, maybe an inch from the driveway. All right, Rich just said he's got an Indian. I got an 07. You have a good chance that you're going to be able to beat it. Let's see. Age-wise, I'm saying. 
I saw the uh, I saw the back, so I know that it's. Oh, absolutely! Yep, I see it. Let's it's see. got a nice patina too. Yeah, real it's, green. It's really green. Good detail. Oh, I oh see. wow! Is it an old, old one? Is it seventies? Lower sixties? Really? Yeah. And it's pretty good shape. Yeah. Oh. Same year as my two cent piece. Same year as my two cent piece. Yeah. Someone had three cents back then. <laughs> yeah. And now this eighteen sixty four is a good one, Rich, because this was the transition year from fat to thin, and this is a thin one. They made them both varieties. Yeah. And then the thin one, there's two different versions of the thin where there's an L behind the Indian's ear and then no L. And one of them is rare. I forget which one it is. You'd have to really clean it and get in there with a loop. But well done. Old Indians are nice, and this is a fifth year and a first year thin. Way to go. Thank Matching you. set with the tour. Well done, brother. Yeah. Let's see if there's an L in there, huh? Yeah, where do you look for the L? All right, Lynn, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to pet the horse. Be brave. Now, this is not a big horse by any means. <laughs> but if you're not a horse person, they're all kind of big. It. All right, here we go. You want me to go to it? Nadine? Is Nadine friendly? All right, here we go. Not yet. No. Nope. Uh, He's being very brave. She's she just stands there. She likes to eat. She's her not body. even like blinking though. Is that a good sign? Bad no. sign? Hi, Nate. Ah. Oh. I wasn't. I don't know how to read animals. Up. Oh, that can't be a good sign. No, she's just. Is she playing hard to get. Hi, Nadine. Wow. I, mean, I thought she looked old. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. Come on. Look at no, you. Never a doubt. Look at you. <laughs> she likes you. All right, we are still in the field with Nadine, the horse that let me pet her. <laughs> and Dog Tag Doug had a 46. Uh oh, Nadine's on the move. Nah, don't worry. All right, don't worry about her. <laughs> Doug had a 46. I swung over it. I guess maybe modern dime. I thought a dime as well. Yep, but he cut the plug, and it fell apart a little bit, and we saw a giant copper circle, it looked like. Yeah. So. Well, well what we saw, I think, was the outline. Yeah, of, of or the impression on the, the dirt. The impression. Let's see if we can find it here. It, it was one. right here. That was the part that fell off, that yep. tip. Let me... Right there. Oh, look. see the impression yeah, here. Here's the impression. Oh, oh Doug, there. that looks ah. like it might be something really good too. Oh wow! So this impression is beautiful on its own, but that is going to be his coin. Wow, it came up low, a forty-six. Forty-six. All right, Doug. Let's see what you get, and let's hope it's something unique. All right. It's really wedged in there. There you go. There's the I edge. That, that looks like it's uh, an Amer American coin. Yeah. Oh my, God. my guess was Jeez. going to be at first like maybe classic head because I saw a lot of stars. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it may be Oh, maybe toasted. it's corroded. No, I, I see stars going oh, around. Yeah. Yeah. That see, horse it, didn't kick you, did it? No, is it? Oh, okay. Um, oh, this is the wreath side. I just saw it. I'm not seeing much now. All right, let's get Doug's brush, and we're going to clean it up. He's only got the snaggle tooth, so right here, I'll use we're this at the one. mercy of... I'll use oh, this. Got All right, he's got brush. the tidy bowl brush. All, yeah. right. All right, let's give it a little smack down. And... Oh, I see the one cent yeah, yeah. wreath. Yeah. We're looking for the front side. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Is that dirt or dried horse manure flying everywhere? No, it... that's dirt coming off. You see the date? Right there. All right, there's Doug's coin, and... My flashlight died, so we only have Doug's uh, phone sure. light. And it's really rough, Doug. It's so pitted and corroded. But at the bottom, right by my thumb, I think I see some digits. But man, what it looks like, it looks like I see 672. But it that can't possibly be. be 16 or 17, 72 or 18 because the back says one cent. And I think I see a bust in the middle possibly facing towards the light but i can't make out what the design is it might be a classic head actually that is a distinct possibility yeah it could be a classic head because it is facing left but man it is rough and pitted Go ahead, pull yep. the light away for a second doug so here's what it looks like with no light 
or just sunlight? Yeah, just sunlight. Here is the back. Now you can see one cent with a wreath, so you know it's American. But this side, I think it's a classic head, Doug. Now that I saw it in your light, I can kind of see left facing, I can see the ribbon. And for some reason that date seemed to pop through with the light, but now I'm having a hard time. And it is I'm gonna go so with classic pitty. head. Okay. And that was the last, last, the last no. thing my eyeballs could focus on. <laughs> But what a good find. We were, we thought it was going to be a trashy, you know, yeah, modern dime. dime. But what a nice uh, find there from Dougie. I thought you vacuumed this sure. area out last no, week. No, we didn't hit here. because I was afraid to get too close to the horses last week. Yeah. So we kind of did out that side. Yeah, okay. We didn't hug the fence. So you're hugging well, the fence. Well, it's probably and... pitted because it's been horse hockeyed on for oh, years. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you could probably smell it. Can you blow the date <laughs> up now that you took a picture of it? Well, maybe. Yeah, I don't what know. does I mean... an 1807 uh, classic head smell like? <laughs> well, this one, <laughs> this one smells pretty bad. Great find, Doug. There right, you go. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well, there it is, guys. 1820s house that we absolutely killed it on. There were silver mercury dimes, silver Washington quarters. Of course, I get the silver 1940s Walking Liberty half dollar. Only my second one we've ever found. Three Indian pennies on the day, Tom back buttons, the small little dimple button, Girl Scout buttons, the brass uh, candlestick piece that I found. And one of the coolest ones I got in this video, the 1864 two cent piece. We find very few two cent pieces. So with that and the Walking Liberty half dollar at the same property, man, it was absolutely insane. What a way to go out and a super friendly homeowner at that. And of course, if you guys want to detect some super cool friendly homeowners houses or farm fields or beaches or wherever you want to go and you need some equipment, you can always shoot me an email, quarterhoarder, yahoo.com. Let me know where you live and what your budget is and what kind of terrain you plan on hunting. I'll help you pick out the best machine for your budget so you can get out and find some of the wicked cool stuff like we do every single week. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's a hobby of champions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you on the next one. Later.